the combined gas law. Yep, you guessed it, this is Boyle's and Charles's laws combined, but this is for a constant amount of gas. So if the amount of gas changes, this does not apply. So what we've got is P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Note, and this is really important, that the temperature must always be in Kelvin. For pressure, it's always Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin. So you must convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Because it's a ratio, it doesn't matter what pressure is in or what volume is in, um, as long as those units are the same on both sides. So let's look at an example question. A syringe of oxygen at 25 degrees Celsius has a volume of 50 mil and a pressure of 2.0 atmospheres. The syringe is cooled until the pressure is 1 atmosphere and the volume drops to 40 mil. What is the new temperature of the gas in the cylinder? So let's look at the important information. So the first thing here is that the syringe in the initial conditions have a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, which we convert to Kelvin, which is 298 Kelvin. Volume is 50 mil and pressure is 2.0 atmosphere. So we've got our P1, our V1, our T1. Let's look at the change circumstance. The syringe is then cooled. So the new pressure is 1 atmosphere, the new volume is 40 mils, and we're trying to calculate the new temperature, which of course will be in Kelvin. So we use our formula, P1V1 on T1 equals P2V2 on T2. We plug in the information that we know. So P1 is 2.0, V1 is 50 mil. Remember, as long as the units are the same on both sides, it doesn't matter what units pressure is in or volume is in, as long as temperature is always in Kelvin. So pressure 2 is 1, volume 2 is 40, and we're trying to find T2. So we manipulate this equation around and we will work out that T2 equals 120 Kelvin. Here's a question for you to have a go at. A weather balloon is released with a volume of 0 0.40 meters cubed at 17 degrees Celsius and 258 millimeters mercury at ground level. It reaches a height where the temperature is minus 13 degrees Celsius and the pressure is now 84.2 millimeters mercury. What volume will it now occupy? Remember to convert your temperature into Kelvin and make sure that your pressures and volumes are in the same units. Pause this, have a go and I'll pop the answer up. So the answer is 3.2 metres cubed. If you got that right, well done. You don't need to watch any more of this video. Um, if you didn't, I'm going to run through the work solution now for you. Okay, so our important bits of information here is that volume is 0 0.40 metres cubed. Now you can change that volume if you want to. Remember that a metre cubed equals 1,000 litres, but there's no need to because we can just work out the volume in metres cubed. T1, we must convert to Kelvin, so 17 degrees Celsius is 290 Kelvin, and P1 is 758 millimetres mercury. Look at our second information. We have T2 equals minus 13 degrees Celsius, which we convert to Kelvin. We have the pressure to is 84.2 millimetres mercury and we're trying to determine what volume 2 is which will be in metres cubed because it's the same unit. Check at this point your units are the same and that your temperatures in Kelvin. Just plug your information to P1V1 on T1 equals P2V2 on T2 and then just solve for V2. So V2 equals 3.2 metres cubed.